determine the resultant moment of the four forces acting on the rod as shown in the figure about the point o so that is the given question so i want to calculate moment about o so that is sigma m o so moment is nothing but product of force and perpendicular distance so for each and every force i am going to calculate the perpendicular distance i am going to take the product of those two so here the first force is 15 newtons so 15 into perpendicular distance up to the moment center so if you want to find perpendicular distance draw a line passing through this point parallel to constant force so then this is the perpendicular distance right so first force is 50 and perpendicular distance up to the moment center is 2 to find whether it is clockwise or anti clockwise we can do one thing so here this is the object so this is moment center o now you are applying force at a so this is the point a so when i apply force at point a in this direction it will rotate in clockwise or otherwise this is the point so an application of force is here in the direction of force force is directed in this direction right encircle the moment center how i am doing here clockwise so when i am uh, do that so i am getting clockwise means negative so another force 16 newtons so 16 newton force line of action is passing through point o so that means moment because of that force will be zero moment because of that force will be zero so no need to calculate moment for that and the remaining forces are 20 newton and 40 newton i have to consider perpendicular distance for those two so i know that here bc distance is given as 3 meters right so i can find perpendicular distance between those so here if this is 30 degrees this is going to be 30 degrees right so here this is in the form of a right angle triangle so here this is 3 meters this is 30 so then it will become 3 cos 30 it will become 3 sin 30 right so moment because of 16 newton force is 0 next we will consider 20 newton force 20 into perpendicular distance draw a line passing through moment center parallel to consider force so then a line will appear like this so it will be like this so then this is the perpendicular distance thus distance is nothing but 3 sin 30 right 3 sin 30 so if you want to find whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise so moment center is here o is here and force is here 20 newton force is here in the direction of force encircle the moment center how i am doing here anti-clockwise means positive next 40 newton force 40 into perpendicular distance draw a line passing through moment center parallel to consider force so then this is the perpendicular distance right it is nothing but so 2 plus 2 that is 4 4 plus 3 cos theta right so so that is 4 plus 3 cos theta so to find whether it is clockwise or anti-clockwise moment center here and uh, application of force is here in the direction of force and circle the moment center so it is happening in clockwise sense so clockwise means negative so if you simplify this one you will get the value for moment about o so you will get around minus 333.92 newton meter hope you like this video if you like this video click on like button and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching